Check we've got in the ring right now. South Down, owned by Neville Moorhead, Suffolk, Adams family, South Suffolk, Chamberlain, JP Chamberlain, Hampshire and Ben Buttrick, Paul Rawson, Ben Buttrick, and Lucky Partnership, Texas H and J Campbell, the Dorper Maple Genetics, Dorset Down, Colin Smith, and a Rylan, Jill Thomas. Our two judges today is Stu Sinclair and Stevie is the other judge. Well firstly, um, just thank, to the, uh, thank you to the Elsmere A&P for the opportunity to discuss today. Um, it's very good you've gone on with the show because you've been doing to look forward to over the last uh, 12 months. Um, and my congratulations to all the exhibitors. Um, I've, been, I've been here a few more, few years over the time and I think this year the standard of stock is probably as high as I've ever seen. There's uh, very few lighter, lighter sheep. Um, and, and certainly the quality of the top end is, is first rate. Um, now, to be, rear, to be rearing a lamb as a hoggett um, is a great achievement, but also to have such, you know, being a great nick is, is uh, very, very difficult. Uh, we all know what hoggets are like, um, but this is a very good example of the breed, and uh, we felt that very worthy sheep in the number three position. Uh, now, we go from that to the Suffolk, um, Oh, it's very, very big ewe, um, great head, very, covers a lot of ground, um, just, it, we just felt there was just a little bit more meat on the top sheep through the loin and the hind quarter, but there was very, very little difference between these two sheep, both outstanding animals. Uh, now, if we can have the, the dorset, we're not going to catch that, okay, we'll just get it on the run. Um, as we can see, very well filled in the hind quarter, very, very, you know, feminine sheep. But um, yeah, we, we thought that an outstanding exhibit on the day. So my well, congratulations to all winners. Um, and yeah, I think it's a real credit to you all. Thank you. Lawrence Export Sire. First place goes to Lockyer Partnership. Ben Buttrick. Will they come forward and grab their prize, please? Second. Stay here, Ben. You got second as well. And he also got second with the with, with a Hampshire. Third was Price Partnership. Only Price. No, no, you're right. <laughs> well done. Fourth, Simon Hawk. Hawken. I'm going to get over there. Ooh. Oh, I struggle. <laughs> oh, hang on. 
Oh, you're That'd right. be easier. Simon Falk, was it? Well done. Yeah. Good, very good. Uh, Thanks for much. Both for the export side. Yeah. Yep, Simon Falk. Thank you. In the Lawrence uh, crossbred, Kent and Karen Quinn. They were first and second. And James Webster, third. Where's the ball? He's working. Well done. Well, I'd just like to um, thank the Ellsbury AMP for um, asking me to judge um, today in these classes. I think Doc Sidey was supposed to do it and he must do something else on Friday, so I don't know whether he's religious or what. But, um, he um, couldn't come, so um, I'm, I'm filling in for him and I hope he agrees with what I do. Um, 150 years is a long time, I can't remember anywhere near that long, I can, can't even remember half that long, so it's a hell of a long time ago, and um, I think it's interesting to see here that probably uh, 150 years ago that the only British sheep, I might be wrong, that's here present today, was English Leicester would have been here, I would think, and whether there was any Romneys, I don't know, but um, we'll find that out later. Ro Romney Marsh, and obviously the Ryland. So uh, we saw the Ryland and the uh, meat boots place. Anyway, moving on, what we're supposed to do, judging these girls. Um, they were a good line-out, look good line up, good representatives of their breed. Um, I'll start with the third place. In third place, we put the black and coloured exhibit. Um, have a look at the fleece on that animal. And she's got a good carcass. Um, yeah, if you want a home craft fleece, that's got style in it, it's got length of staple, it's got um, softness, it's got everything that you'd need for what the, the fleece is that's growing, and also, obviously, it's a, um, a, a very good carcass view hog. Then in second place, we um, went with the Romney, she's very well balanced view, she's very breedy type of head, she, um, you mean she's not big or whatever, but she's very well proportioned, she's got a, um, a good fleece on her, and a good carcass. And uh, out of what we've got, I'll just comment on the rest of them. That was second, I won't tell you what's first yet, I'll just comment on the other two. Um, the Corridor is a good sheep, she's um, very breedy, very feminine head, uh, a good carcass. So just a wee bit, we were disappointed that the, there wasn't a bit more character in the wool. She's a wee bit, what I'd call flat in the wool, and I'd like a bit more style on a young sheep. Um, the Perindale is a good, well balanced sheep, plenty of attitude, obviously, as a Perindale should have. Um, and a good even fleece on it. Then I'll move to the English Leicester, and probably a lot of you hadn't had a lot to do with English Leicesters. I used to, because we used to breed a lot of first cross uh, English Leicester, um, Renault crosses, half red rams. Um, that English Leicester year has got a, a top English Leicester fleece on it, and on top of that, I think you want to have a feel of the loin of that sheep if you get a chance afterwards. She's as good as any of those mutton breed hobbits that we had in the, in the um, previous class. And therefore, in my mind, you've got a, a sheep that's come back here, been here for 150 years. No one really wants to use them now because they're old-fashioned because they haven't got a, a bit of some other fruit salad breeds in them. But um, that sheep, if you crossed it with anything, you'd end up with uh, bloody good progeny. She's um, very well, a very good exhibit of the breed and a very good exhibit of all breeds here today. And I congratulate the owner on taking out the uh, trophy today. Thank you. Well done, ben. Yeah, hi, um, I'm Bede McCloy and um, my wife Desmond and myself are very surprised winners of the Champion New Hobbit at this special 150th um, Ellesmere show, so very proud that uh, I'm able to do that, and particularly since the breed is in fact one of the original eight breeds <coughs> that were here for the first show 150 years ago, so it's pretty That's special right. for the breed, mm. as much for us as uh, the breeders, so very honoured. Thank you. Thanks, mate. That's very helpful. Uh, now, another top lineup of ram hoggets. Um, a very, very difficult job, um, as you can all see. Uh, now, some of the sheep that maybe didn't make the top three, we felt just were a wee bit dicey on the feet. Um, one or two turned in, tossed here and there, um, just just fine points, but we're looking for something that's sound. 
So our three top sheep, if they go forward, would be the Suffolk, the South Suffolk, and the uh, Hampshire. They can move forward, please. South down. South down. What did I say? No, South down. South down. That's okay. South down. South down. South down. Apologies. South down. We get the day out. South down, Suffolk, and Hampshire. All right. No, you can't get out of this. All right. Well, you want to go forward, Brent? No, he's all right. Okay, right, now, this is the Hampshire, uh, perhaps, which doesn't have quite the volume of meat that the top two sheep have, but he's very, very clean and very, very correct. Um, there's very little wastage on that sheep, which, you know, we're looking for. It's got very good feet, moves very well, and a good example of the breed. That's placed at number three. Then we go to the Suffolk. This is obviously the biggest sheep in the class. Very proud ram, holds his head up well. Very, very masculine. Great bone and feet. Um, just the difference between the number one and the number two sheep was perhaps the, the volume of meat and um, the balance of the carcass, perhaps. The, the south down did tend to taper from backwards. Uh, the width of the hind quarter probably had a little bit more than what the Suffolk got. So that was the main reason that we placed the south down above the Suffolk. Um, as you can see, it's a very, very clean ram, and looking as the cuts that we're all looking for in this day and age, fine corner loin, um, and it's going to be a sheep that's going to weigh like concrete. Look at the depth, and you know, it's got everything we want. I think it's one of the better south downs that we're going to see anywhere. Uh, my congratulations to the winners. Um, it's certainly um, top, top sheep. Thank you. Uh, two of WO's grandsons are here, Hamish Rennie and uh, Stuart Rennie. Uh, are here and they're going to be presenting the W.O. Rennie Memorial Cup for the most points in the long wall section. Bring them in there and we'll do it now. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, neither of us have been the author very well because the time before I was born. And, yeah, eight years old. Um, but uh, he was always into a sheep with his breeds. He did uh, read about it going to Australia and showing them over in Australia and then showed them at Melbourne and then uh, sell them afterwards and he came home and really happy with his money he was making out of the Australians. Um, so, really big fan of these sheep and um, we're very honoured to be able to present this today to whoever wins. Thank you guys for turning up. Where's Gordon? Uh, Peter that spoke there before does a great job on the history of um, of our, what we call our 100 year president. This year we've actually got two, 100 and 101, because we skipped last year. Um, and it's, it's really good to hear what Peter's got to say about what happened 100 years ago. Um, yeah, so this trophy obviously has been in the cabinet for a long, long time, and it's for the most points um, gained by the exhibitor in all of the wall breeds. So that's the Corridor, Romney, and the border Leicester. And the English Leicester, sorry. Um, so that happens to be this year, Gordon and Barbara Gilbert, if they'd like to come up here, please. I'm Barbara. Gordon and Barbara have been showing here for a lot longer than I've been. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Just do a photo shoot. Yeah. As a group, do a photo shoot. Look at the camera over here. You don't move. Uh, my name is Brad, Brad McCauley, I've just won the Ram Hoggett class at the Ausmere AMP 150 of the show. He didn't bring any room. Good examples of his breed. Um, there's one sheep in our mind that stands out there. Um, it's a sheep close to the ground at the moment. It's the Romney. Uh, these are all breed sheep, but they're obviously dual purpose. And you can see in that sheep that he's got as good a back end as any of the, uh, the meat breeds. He's got a couple of little faults. Um, I prefer to see him stand up a little bit further on his front pastings, but that comes, the shoulder structure's not dead right. And we know how the Romney breed has changed from 150 years ago, they couldn't see where they're going anyway, Romney marshes. And we've gone through big long things that were stretched out three mile long, you couldn't see, 
couldn't see the tail end from the head of that like a long train. Um, now we've shortened them up and got a meaty. I think we've got to this stage that probably, in my opinion, is for the next 150 years or in the next 10 years, that they're probably going to make them a wee bit longer so that they weigh better, a bit more capacity to have. I mean, these, these are having a hell of a lot of lambs, but it's not a very hypnotic motor to put lambs in there and eat a tummy full of grass and milk at the same time. So um, I think probably for a, a maternal breed that um, we, they will stretch out a bit and try and keep that same carcass sheet just a wee bit longer in the loin and um, better balance. Um, the corridor is a good sheep. He's a lot taller than Romney, obviously. I'm standing behind him at the moment. Um, he just lacks a bit of um, filling in the hind quarter in regards to the carcass. He's got a good fleece of, um, of, of finer type corridor wool. Um, yeah, he's got a good sorry head. And I you know, just like a wee bit more rounding in, in the back end of them, really, and that's, we all agreed on that. Um, the other two are good examples of the breed. Um, the black and coloured here. Um, that wool on that sheep's finer than what it looks like from the outside, but it just runs out a bit down the back legs. I mean, by that, it just gets a bit stronger in its wool, um, and he hasn't got the quantity of meat of the others. And the Pyrenel, that, that's a good good sheep. Um, not as forward, obviously, you can see there as they spin around. as the Romney in that, and we are actually judging them on the day, so uh, that's um, really what we arrived at. And uh, obviously, the winner is the owner of the Romney sheep. Thank you. And Jeff Miller is presenting the, the trophy in this class. Well done, Ian. We go to the, the Romney. Ian Keard. We go to the Suffolk. Norm Carr. And Margaret. Black and coloured, LP and KD Fox B. BL and DJ McCloy. Uh, John Jepson with the Perindale, Brent McCauley with the South Down, in the background there is Jill Thompson. Yeah, uh, Ian Keard with the Dorset Down. Label Genetics, Texel and Dorper. <laughs> Dave Buttrick with the South Suffolk. <coughs> ben Buttrick with the Hampshire. <laughs> WJ, KR and KM. Lola. <laughs> well done, everyone. Now we hand over to the judge. Well, I'm only one. Obviously, Stuart and I will obviously go. He pulled out. He was supposed to be a junior judge, but he's got a sheep in here, so that's that's even better still. Um, I won't tell, we what, tell you what you thought his sheep will, but. Um, no, no, very well done. Good shoot. So, it's a bit higgledy piggledy here, but we told, picked out four breeds to come forward. It's the South Down that Brett's got there, Norm Suffolk, Ian Keep with the Romney, and Neville here with the Pole Dorset. Um, we're looking for, there's three lots of prize money, but we're looking for one outstanding sheep, and we didn't still like them, have too much trouble in finding that sheep. Um, we've got a couple of senior sires mixed amongst them using lambs and they're all good exhibits of their breed. Every sheep here is a good exhibit of its breed but we're looking for one that's got the, the X factor, something that is going to change a breed, move a breed forward and make more money for the commercial farmers when they buy sons of that sire or um, 
sons that you or whatever. Um, we had no trouble in coming to the decision that today's winner is the Paul Dawson Ram here of Never Want Die in Greens. So he's a true, he is a senior sire. You see that sheep walk for the amount of weight that that sheep is carrying, the amount of meat he's got on it, the depth of barrel, the sire's head. Um, and there he is, he's going to pray for you. Well, you know, if we had a yelling Angus ball and we painted him black and took him over there, he'd probably win that too. Um, you know, for, for a big sheep that can move uh, like that, um, tremendous amount of meat. There's no doubt that his, his sons will have tremendous growth rate. See, when he pulls up like that, he stands up, he stands square, um, and we had no trouble. You can differ with us if you like, but um, that's the decision we came to. And then not far, far behind him, of course, was our champion Ram Hoggett. The South Down, because he's a younger sheep, he's still got to get into that stage. Um, yet, um, the Pogger Horse Middle like me has got white hair, and um, the South Down's going to be a while, he's never going to have white hair, but um, he could turn into a ram like that. But he's very, very pure of his breed type, outstanding qualities, meat qualities throughout his carcass. And then we went um, with the Suffolk, a very impressive young side, you can see the way he's standing there. He knows he's good. Norm knows he's good too, but the sheep thinks he's better than Norm. Um, as I said, he had a couple of weeks that we made a decision about, and we'll stick to that. So he's in third place. And then um, along here we've got Ian's Romney Ram, which is a very, very good exhibit of the, of the breed, and I spoke about him previously. So congratulations to Evelyn Diane, and it's very fitting that it's so actually uh, your local show as well, and 150th one at like that. So um, thanks again on behalf of Stuart and I for asking us to judge this. Um, for the privilege to be asked and well done. Uh, Neville and Diane Greenwood, and we've just won the uh, Supreme Champion Sheep of the Show. Awesome, what sheep was it? Paul Dorset. Nice, cool. Yeah. And what do you think made them win? <laughs> uh, well, you're probably asking the wrong person, but uh, he's just yeah, and he's a big sheep, a lot of meat on him, it's pretty sound. But, uh, and how many years have you been entering sheep in the show? Oh, gee. Um, I, I started in. Um, uh, way back in the pit days, anyway. Um, 1966 or 7, I think I started here in Gilbert. Oh. So, yeah. Might have been, I don't.